All right, in this project, what we have is a first floor bathroom, which happens to be a full bathroom, and this first floor office. Now this office is being marketed as a potential first floor in-law suite, which is very rare in this area. So what we're going to do is we're gonna improve the staging of this room by making it look like a bedroom instead of an office, which it currently is. And we're going to lighten up the painting and get rid of some of these heavy things off the wall. So this is a staging to move out. We're not going to do a perfect paint, but you know we have to make it still look pretty good because people are inspecting the house, so it still has to look good. So the first thing we're gonna do is just get everything out of here. Like I said, we're going to stage this differently. You'll see the before and after. And that means we're going to get everything out of this room in preparation for painting and then get everything off the walls so that we can get the painting started. All right, so now we've done a lot of the prep work. One of the big red flags I've seen is when people will do a job painting, but they won't take the outlet covers off and the vent covers off or let's say the ceiling fan, the smoke detectors. That should be your first red flag. If you see someone doing that type of work, I guarantee that as the house expands and contracts and shrinks and moves and does all that other stuff that a house does, those lines are going to show up. You're going to see the paint from the previous color and it's going to look bad. So the easiest thing to do is to just take all these covers off. Just strip everything off the wall, everything off the windows, everything off the ceiling, and you get a much better paint job. It's much more consistent. You don't see the cut-in marks, and it's a much better way to go. So in this room, we took everything apart, took everything off, and now we're just going to let everything dry, and then we'll start on the ceiling. Now the first step, we're going to go around and cut in the ceiling. And one of the things I see some people make the mistake about is they don't come down onto the wall. They actually try to cut it in neatly, but that's a mistake. You don't want to cut it neatly. You want to come down onto the wall because you're trying to get rid of all that old color. And remember, the color is going to go up onto the ceiling again. So you want to cut in on the ceiling and then bring it down onto the wall and make sure you're eliminating all that old color. All right, now we got everything cut in and we are ready for rolling. I can tell just by the way the paint is covering while we're cutting that this room could use a second coat. If I were staying here and saying, look, this is a paint job that I want to put into a house that I'm going to live in, I would definitely put a second coat on this. But since we're doing this as a staging exercise, getting it painted just to make it look good to move out, we'll see how it covers in one coat and hope for the best and hopefully save a little bit of money on the project so we don't have to go back and ask for more. And here we go, the final completion of the conversion from an office to a bedroom. And I think you can see that the staging is now complete. It's gonna be a lot easier for people to picture this as a in-law suite instead of trying to imagine what the office will convert from and into, now they get to see it firsthand. By doing this staging, it really transforms this room and really transforms the whole house, actually. Mm -hmm.